what people have to understand is the way they build jails is everyone that doesn't graduate, they build a jail. Period. Yeah. This is the truth. It's so, bomb. so, bomb. so one of the based on statistics. This is the facts. It's not a statistic. That's oh. how they do it. You right. feel me? So I'm at the, the we did the uh, OSG conference. And, and on Tuesdays, I teach the principals a class about entrepreneurship right. so they could teach the kids. I'd rather the principals be the plug than a drug dealer or a rapper. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, most of the times, it's not sustainable. Right. You know? So I, go, I, I meet this principal. I don't want to say his name. I don't want to blow him up. But he's like, yo, I'm in Chicago at a, a jail, a kid's jail with a school in it. All right, I'm going to come through. I come through. First of all, it's in a warehouse. No windows. Yeah. No outdoor space. Yeah. White women giving uh giving uh therapy to black kids with bodies um so they're telling me that you know they're a master at de-escalation but all that matters is what's their reading scores the average reading score was at a fourth grade reading level so i'm like you let them kids out with a fourth grade reading level you know they're coming back right now when i'm walking around and i'm, I'm talking to the kids i'm like these kids are extremely cool like why are they so cool and i was like it's like a dope fiend cool and I realized they was all doped up. Mm. So they're telling me that they let the kids out quicker if they take the drugs. Mm. No windows, mm. recycled air. So that means the recidivative rate is high. That means when you go out and come right back. Yeah. Now, this is what gets disgusting about it. Mm -hmm. Most jails are public sector, right? So you get paid by the bed. Right. You know how much they get paid per prisoner? A million fucking dollars. Every kid goes to jail and gets a million dollars. He's a millionaire if he goes to jail. But he ain't getting none of that money. But the drugs, I'm sure they marking that shit up. So what I'm looking at is an insane asylum. But when, when you say a million dollars. A million dollars the, the per child for there. the child is a million dollars per child. To keep them Per there. bed. Yeah. Between the drugs, the food, the clothes. I, we don't know what housing. they're spending it on. They, that's, just, that's just the line item. A million for that kid. Mm. He's a millionaire, right? And what they wanted, now if you own a hotel, you want people to come back, right? Mm -hmm. So this is independent sector, meaning an independent, not the government doesn't own these jails. They outsource it. Mm -hmm. So of course, if they own a hotel and they're getting paid by the bed, they want you to come back. You know what's a sure way to make you come back? Make you a dope fiend and send you out into the street with a fourth grade education and have us fighting each other. And regardless if you are rehabilitated or not, you put a nigga back in the wall, he got to go get his stick. You No matter what, you're not letting nobody do nothing to you. Your ops ain't get rehabilitated. Mm. So it's a guaranteed cycle. And mm. I'm like, damn, this is what they doing to I'm watching this shit and I see the play. Mm. So now I'm tight. And we got to change that and bring awareness to it. And know that we are customers for them. Every time we go to jail, we're a cuzzy. We, we, we're the crackhead. Right. And we don't even know it. 